Hello friends in this video I will going to learn you how to connect my SQL database and PHP by using PHP data object like PDO. Before I show you how to connect my SQL database using PHP data object, first I want to show you basics of PHP data object. Friends PHP data object is uniform database access library which provides uniform methods or functions to work with different databases without rewriting scripts while switching the database. That means if you now using MySQL as database and now you want to use SQLite as your database and your system then at that time you want to write whole script according to SQLite database. But if you use PHP data object then you can save your timings for rewriting whole script. PHP data object is uniform database access library, which provides uniform methods, functions, to work with different databases. Friends if you are using MySQL or MISCLI extension to connect MySQL database, then later on if you want to go for different database like SQLite or PostgreSQL. Then at that time we have to rewrite whole the script the way we are accessing database connection and the data. While in PDO, PHP data objects let us write single PHP script that work with different databases. Friends first I have show you advantages of using PHP data object. Friends if we using PHP data object then we can write database neutral script that work across multiple database. This will help us to changing database painless process and reduces our timings greatly. Friends PHP data objects comes with prepared statements, so we do not need to convert user submitted data into database safe characters using some of the functions like miscly real escape string. Clite escape string or PG escape string for different database drivers. But whereas prepared statements itself will take care of escaping user submitted data into database safe characters. That effectively prevents SQL injection attacks and improves the performance. Friends PDO use prepared statements that prepares the SQL query first then it runs the SQL query against database to insert or update array of values into database. So here prepared statements will act as template for SQL insert or update queries. This will reduces syntax checking time and improves query executing timing with different values whereas in conventional database driver like MySQL, SQLite, every time you insert or update values into database SQL queries prepared and do the insert or update operation. This will take more time on SQL syntax checking. Friends PHP data objects throws catchable exceptions, so we can handle the errors more effectively. And lastly friends PHP data objects is object oriented. Now friends I have show you how to connect my SQL database and PHP by using PHP data object. Friends first I have defined variable and set value into that variable. First I have write variable server name is equal to localhost, variable user name is equal to root, variable password is equal to blank and database is equal to testing. Friends in PHP data objects first we have to write try and catch block, try blocky will write code for my SQL database connection and in catch we received no exception, when if there is database connection fail then at that time this exception will throws and we can print database connection error in this block. Now friends I have write my SQL database connection code. 
First I have write variable connect is equal to new PHP data object with open and close bracket and between bracket their first parameter like I have write database driver name mysql with host is equal to server name which I have defined above after this I have write database name is equal to variable database in which I have defined database name, second parameter is user name and last parameter is password, both I have already defined above. After this now I want to set the PHP data object error to exception, for this I have write connection string dollar connect with set attribute function, in this function there is two parameter, first is PHP data object with two times double colon attribute error mode and second is PHP data object two time colon error mode exception. Friends if PHP data object come across any connection error, then it will throws PHP data object exception so we will catch that PHP data object exception and show proper exception message to user. After this we can simply write successfully message for this I have used simple echo statement with text connection successfully done. Friends suppose there is any error in database connections so we can easily handle by PHP data object exception, for I have defined PHP data object exception at catch by writing open and close bracket and between bracket I have write PHP data object exception with defined one object of this exception like dollar error. So friends if there is any database error occur so we can simply get error message by using this PHP data object exception object dollar error. But now I want to print error message for I have go catch block and simply write echo statement with database connection failed and suppose if you want to get specific error then you can use PHP data object exception object which is dollar error. So simply write dollar error with get message function. With help of this function we get specific error message. Friends in browser you can see database connection successfully done message. Now suppose I have changed database name and refresh the browser. Friends you can see message connection fail with unknown database with database name. So friends this is my video on MySQL database connection in PHP by using PHP data object. In next video I will show you insert data in PHP by using PHP data object. So friends thank you for watching this video. If you have any query regarding this video you can comment on this video I will reply on your comment. Friends you want to get more update of my video, so, friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also or you can also follow Webs Listen on Twitter.